Hey coach, it's Bryce from Synergy. Today we're talking to you about the Synergy Editor offline workflow as well as some video management tips. So absolutely, you can totally work offline in the editor. The key thing is you prepare. And what I mean by that is you need to make sure any video you wanna work with offline has been cached into the editor. So whether you knew it or not, there's actually a folder on your computer if you install the Synergy Editor called the Video Cache. And this is where all the video files that you've watched over time are basically stored. All right, so when you go to this little hamburger menu up here and go to file, sorry, go to tools options, and then you click on data, you can actually see where that data is going. It's going to your documents folder, and then there's a video cache folder within there. And then you can actually make sure that these uh, clips that you're bringing in from the website delete after one week, one month, six months, or never. Um, so the cool part about this is it helps the video playback experience immensely by having these videos cached on your machine, but also makes it so you can work offline, okay? So we'll talk a little bit more about the video management at the end. Let's talk about what it looks like when clips are caching now. Okay, so I've got the website open. I know I really, really wanna watch these, you know, 24 points from Flage Johnson right here. I click those 24, I send them to my editor. I wanna work on these clips while I'm on the plane. It pops open my editor, these start to load in. You've probably noticed this before, but they'll turn from a gray to a black color. Um, and then obviously once I get to that 12th clip and all of them have turned to the black color, that means I have now cached all of those clips. Caching also works for timelines or full game videos. So if I also wanna watch the entire game, I could click full game video for this one. Uh, let's go to this game right here and hit okay. It will then open my editor and it'll show me the timeline of that Synergy source game that we've tagged. And then it's a little bit different here because instead of that playlist view where you see each clip load in, there's actually a big long gray line up here and you'll see parts of it are already starting to turn blue. Okay, so once the entire gray bar has started to turn blue or has, has gone blue, that means that entire game is now cached on your computer and then you can work with any of these clips offline as well. So. Uh, keep an eye on that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, close this one out just for the purposes of this video. We're gonna go into offline mode right now by, for me, unplugging my ethernet cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've disconnected my ethernet cord. Um, I've disconnected from Wi-Fi. I don't have internet access anymore, but I've cached my clips, so I should be good to go. In a moment, this will change from an online status to an offline status can take up to a minute. I'm just gonna go up here and hit view refresh. And then just like that, you can see that everything is totally offline, but I can still get some work done because I prepared, I've cached in the video that I wanna work with on my bus ride or on my flight. So I'm gonna go up here, create a new custom edit. I'll call it my offline workflow. I'll hit okay. And then as I'm starting to watch some clips right here, I can decide, hey, I wanna add this to my edit. I can just click and drag it or use a hotkey to get it over where I want it into that custom edit. Find another one, find another one, boom. Now I've got three clips in there. You can have as many as you want, just like a normal custom edit. At this point, I wanna do a little bit of manipulating within these clips. So for this first one, I wanna add a note. So I'll click into my note section and I'll say offline rocks. Great, that note is great, it's there. So now I can click into this one and say I wanna add a little text overlay. Um, I'll go in and I'll do a little uh, diagram here. Make it a screen, screeny action. We'll say, hey, you need to go screen her. Boom, that's in there now. I've got a little blue dash up here showing me that text overlay. Go this clip right here. I would like this clip to have a different in and out point. I don't wanna see this shot. I wanna get right to my transition and I wanna chop a little bit off the end. Now I've got that in here as well. So I've done some manipulating within that custom edit, but I've been offline. Well, the good news is once you go back online, all those things will transition over to the cloud. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug my internet back in and we'll see this little cloud light up and show me that a few things have been added. And then also this will turn green. So I'm gonna plug in now. Okay, so I've got my internet connection back. Um, we can see that I've got this uh, green bar down here showing me that I've got access to the internet, I'm back online, the machine is talking to the Synergy servers, and eventually this will light up and show me that a sync has occurred. I'm just gonna force it to happen sooner by hitting view refresh, 
And then you'll see just very briefly, there was a little flash showing me that whatever little edits I made synced up. It might take longer for those syncs to occur depending on how much editing you've done. So you can totally do offline work. That's what it looks like. It's really simple. Basically, you get the video from the website onto Synergy. You make sure it's cached. If it's a timeline or a full game video, you got to make sure that gray bar is turned blue. And if it's a uh, playlist, you got to make sure each uh, clip that you want to work with has gone from gray to black. That's how you know it's then been cached on your machine. At that point, you can create your edits, your timelines, you work with them, tag them, add notes, whatever you want to do. Then when you plug back into Wi-Fi, all that will sync back up to the cloud. And at that point, you can share that video with your staff and your players, just like you would if you had that internet connection the entire time. So let's talk about video cache. So on a, on a Windows machine, if you just type in video cache, that will bring you to that folder that's within the Synergy Sports folder on your machine. All these are basically uh, folders that have a bunch of little mini mini video files on them that help with that playback experience as you're watching in the editor. Um, and if you're running out of space, and keep an eye on this disk usage down here, it shows you how much open space you have on your entire computer, as well as how much is, is actually being used by Synergy, which uh, for me is about six gigs. I can hit Control A and hit Delete, and then all those clips will just get deleted. Um, they're no longer on my machine. But that doesn't mean that they're permanently deleted from the cloud or anything like that. It just means that they're not on my local machine anymore. And so if I, I can always open up that custom edit that's already been pre-made or that timeline, and it'll just automatically pull that video back from Synergy just like that. So you don't have to worry about losing any video or anything like that. Okay, so another thing to keep in mind, and this is more for the coaches who are doing um, live captures and imports. Usually that's only one or two people on a staff. So if you have these icons on your machine, your editor max user, um, you're doing a live capture or an import, you're also gonna have another folder on your computer that might be something to keep an eye on so you're not you know, losing or not you know, having a ton of space sort of taken up. That folder is the capture import folder. And right now I don't actually have any and I haven't done any imports, but it would look the exact same as that previous folder. It'll just have a bunch of folders in there and you can delete them out. Um, once it's been synced up to the cloud, it's there. You don't have to worry about it anymore. They're there permanently. And again, same thing, you know, you just find it on Synergy or open up any custom edits or timelines that are already on your machine. It'll pull it from the cloud for you. So those are a few tips about uh, storage management. Keep an eye on your storage. Um, you don't want to get into a bind when you're in nitty gritty time during the season, trying to make your scouts and pull in video. So, uh, but hopefully this information helped. If you have any questions, let us know, drop a comment, contact us at our support information that's included below. And uh, we just appreciate you coach. Thanks. Take care.